When I started doing that show in 1993, mm -hmm. the big worry about it, the big critique was, you can't do a show where the host tells you his political opinions, because that was what the template always was. Uh -huh. You didn't know Johnny Carson's political opinions, yeah. even into Letterman and Leno. Yeah. They didn't really ever, you, they sort of, yeah. Leno, I don't know, maybe he's a Republican. He, he played it straight down the middle. That's how they all did it. Yeah. So when I was like saying, no, I think the public can fucking withstand it if yeah. they don't agree with me, they just gotta like you. Yeah. And it was true. Now, you can't be a late night host unless they do know your opinion. Exactly, yeah. And it's all about that. It's not about being funny. Yeah. It's about saying the correct mm -hmm. opinion for mm -hmm. the audience you're okay. working for. Okay. So yeah, it's I've, completely flipped. I've heard you talk about That's pretty the, interesting. I've heard you talk about on your show, the Gutfeld show. But talk to me more in detail. What do you think about him per se? I, I mean, we did a bit on that. I don't remember talking about it because honestly, I don't know it. But I know what it is. I knew what it. <laughs> Enough to do a bit about it, which uh -huh. I remember was very funny. Can't remember what that uh, jokes were, but it was good. I mean, have, have you watched like was, a couple episodes of his show? No, but what's no? You haven't watched uh, a, not no. even two. Not two seconds. Not two seconds. No, I, that's why we didn't do a bit on it. I, I, I it's issue on it. We did uh -huh. a bit. Uh -huh. There's a, I, the bit was based on the idea that it was out doing some other shows, and it was a conservative comedy show. Now, I've talked about this subject many times because I've been asked many times, uh -huh. why doesn't conservative comedy work? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the answer is very, again, indicative, I think, of the times we live in. It didn't work in the past because liberals weren't doing anything funny enough to make mm -hmm. fun of. Yeah. And I would use the example of Dennis Miller, who I have the greatest admiration for as a, as a comedian. I think mm -hmm. he's a, a state-of-the-art kind of craftsman he, yeah. he, when he does his thing. But he went hard right mm -hmm. with his politics. And so he was doing bits about how, you know, Nancy Pelosi, <laughs> at, a, a, at a moment in history when Sarah Palin was giving people on the left yeah. tons of material because she was an idiot. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nancy Pelosi is not an idiot. So it rang hollow. Yeah. They didn't have anything to work with. Greg Gutfield is working now. Yeah. There's something to work from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the Trumpers are always going to be the worst. The Republicans don't believe in environment or democracy, so fuck them. Mm -hmm. But the left is goofy mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. So there is material now for someone like Rick Gutfield to work with. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's doing it and I'm missing it, but I'm going by what they say in my writer-producer meeting, mm -hmm. and they're like, you know... It's also the fact that conservatives are just not fucking good at comedy. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the punchline. They're also just not good at comedy. Well, look, the, you know, it... Because it, <clears throat> it, it, <laughs> they have material. They have, look... Speak. It has the feeling of... Uh, it it oh, does have a feeling shit. of... It does have a feeling of the, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, the Wally George show. All right, oh, shit. but that's but that's actually insincere because we're there is a. a we're out of I don't want to talk about his show for that much on the show. <laughs> oh, I don't care. No, but I do. I'm like I don't I'm much more concerned that we're out of pot. 